Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Classic Video Games back with another cool jukebox arcade game video for you today. This is a row 1984 R88 200 selection 45 jukebox. Is that enough numbers for you? So it's a 1988, I mean 1984, I'm sorry, 1984 R88 200 selection jukebox. And it has, it plays 45 records, the singles, the little ones, these ones. We have been working on this thing for a while now, and the problem that we ran into was a curious one. We have a gentleman who brings us a bunch of records. So he's often bringing us records. And he knows that we work on jukeboxes, so he kept bringing us boxes and boxes of records. And he brought us in a box one day that he had, I think he buys them at yard sales and stuff. He bought us a juke, he brought us a box one day full of records. And we were like, oh man, there's some good stuff here. Man, I like these. We're, you know, so we, uh, we cleaned them off, put them in the jukebox because we just happened to be working on this one at the time. Well, we started playing them and like every record was skipping. And I thought, I don't know, mm, that can't be right. There's no way that, like, all of them are bad, you know? So I pulled them out, and I, I set up, like, a regular record player that I had and played them on that, and they, you know, at least a couple that I tried didn't skip. So I thought, hmm, there's some, there must be something wrong with the machine that it just, you know, the, the weighting of the needle or the, the uh, you know, there's something going on where it's, it's skipping. Now, they're all skipping in different places and stuff, but every time you play it, it skips at the same exact spot on each record. So we kind of backburnered it for a while, and then recently I was working on another jukebox, and I thought, well, man, I need to figure out what's going on with that one. It's just such a strange thing. So, uh, you know, sometimes if you put down a problem for a while and then come back to it, it all makes sense. So I started thinking, you know, all of those records that we put in there all came from the same source, the same place, and it could just be that every damn one of them scratched. That could be, you know, sometimes a record, you can look at it, and you can't really tell that it's scratched, but if you play it, it's scratched. It's scratched. Now, like I said, we tested a couple of them on another record player, and they played fine. Um, but some, you know, some of those, the stylus is weighted different and, and things like that. So anyway, I started, I started looking into what was going on. And on the left side of this box, we had put all rock and roll songs, um, kind of cool stuff. And on the right side, we had put all country songs kind of cool stuff. I like country and rock. And I started noticing that most of the country ones don't skip. But a lot of the rock and roll ones did skip. Now, whenever we bought them, you know, all the rock and roll ones, that all came from the same place. So, you know, what it comes down to is, hell, if it'll play like most records, it must just be picky about a certain type of scratch or something. So the, we went through and we started listening to every record, and whenever we found one that skipped, we pulled it out and we put another one in. And sometimes the the one we put back in would skip, but you know we'd wait, we'd keep messing with it till we put one in that did not skip. And so for uh, it took us a while, but we listened to all 200 selections and now have it where none of the records skip. So I'll show you some of the ones we pulled out, like this one, Don Henley. Man, I really wanted to have this one in there. Dirty Laundry. Now, I can't remember which side skipped, but if you look, uh, I think here's a good example. Let's see if we can get the, let the light hit that enough. Yeah, there you go. I mean, look at that. That is enough to make that skip. So, we, we've swapped them all out, found many that skipped, but we're now good and none of them skip. So I guess it just goes to show you that you really need to have pretty decent records in it. Oh, another thing. If they're records from a jukebox, it will kind of wear them, but it won't make them skip usually. So a lot of times if you get a record that was in a jukebox, the edges of it will be worn from where the gripper arm grabs it. Uh, but the needle, since it's in a controlled environment and a machine actually lays it down and hangs it up and the, the needle sets itself down and picks itself up, usually you don't get scratches on records uh, that are in jukeboxes. So all of those records that we got uh, didn't have 
jukebox wear on them they they were out of somebody's collection and somebody just was storing them without sleeves and things like that and scratched them all up so you got to be careful which records you put in them those though with the scratches some of those will play on a regular um, record player they're just this jukebox wants them in nicer shape so anyway we got it we, we got all that changed and the thing is playing great and sounds great and we figured we'd film a little video of it so they had the in most of these uh, row AMI jukeboxes they had a blue one and a brown one so the blue ones were called the sapphire so this is the R88 or the sapphire 8 they also made an R88 that was brown I think those were called the, the golden or something like that um, but you hardly ever see the brown ones for some reason it seems like there's more of the blue ones than the brown ones but we'll check out uh we'll check out up here at the top it's got these cool painted metal pieces over the speakers very good looking box it lights up really nice too I'll show you all the light bulbs inside of it here in a minute this little piece here actually can be removed and you can put a dollar bill acceptor there. Coin return. Press button to select the most popular selection on this phonograph. Popular. Well, it's telling you over here the most popular selection is number 113. There's a computer in it that remembers. 113 is kiss Beth <laughs> but what really was going on is 113 kept skipping so we put like five different records in it till we found one that didn't skip and the kiss record didn't skip press again for the second most popular etc oh, okay that's interesting deposit coins and bills we've got this one on free play that's why it says make selection I'll show you here whenever we open it up how to set it on free play very simple on these but uh, they have a little card that says one play is a quarter, three plays is 50 cents, seven plays is a dollar. And you can get 35 plays for $5 if you're a high roller. And it, it swears up and down. The most popular selection is Beth. There's a selections remaining light, a selection being made light, and a selection playing. So if you type, oh, you know, if you start selecting one, it switches over to the selection being made. If you hit reset because you don't want that one, it goes back. So let's open it up and see what the inside looks like. So of course this is what it looks like opened up. Very bright. Lots of lights. One, two, three, four, five light bulbs. And I dropped the uh, title strip holder so you can see how that works makes it really easy to service and then it's just got these little clips that hold it in place at the top and to pull it down you just push that a lot of the rows were like that um, so one of the things that happens on every one of these is these gas struts wear out um, and when they do the door will not hold open. This door is heavy too. It probably weighs 50 pounds, something like that. So there's two struts on each side. These are the exact same, some people call them struts, some people call them gas shocks. They're the exact same thing that are on, that you might see on like an older car uh, and uh, their like rear hatch or whatever. So they still make these things, but it's hard to find them that are the right length and the right pressure because they you know depending on the um, pressure they'll hold up a different amount of of uh, weight and if you get one that's too small it'll hold the door open not high enough if you get one that's too long it won't fit in the machine so one way you can fix that the old school way is you take a pull cue because a lot of operators had pull cues <laughs> cue sticks and you um, cut a cue stick down or you get one that's broke or something and you use it to prop the damn door open so we've got a dowel rod that we're propping the door open with and so we cut one that's just long enough to lay down inside of it and that's that 
So it'd be better if the gas shock still worked, but none of them do. We'll have to try to find some replacement ones though. Uh, there's the computer. Still doing its thing. Here is the carousel or mechanism. All right. And they have this little box over here. It has the amp in it. Uh, the power distribution block. And then there's a the transformers for the amp. This little thing here uh, is how you would set the pricing. All that's described in the manual. Um, now if you turn this little switch here, if it's on normal, it takes quarters. If it's on test, it's on free play. So um, here's the coin mech over here. The bill acceptor, I believe, fit right here. Yeah, the bill acceptor fit right there. Um, you also have this playmaker mode. You can see it's turned off right now. You can set it on 20 minute, 40 minute, or continuous. Basically, if you put it on either any of those, it will every once in a while play a random record. So that's kind of cool. The problem you run into with that is random means it also plays the B-sides, and a lot of the B-sides are just god-awful. <laughs> so I'll, uh, I'll put it back down. And uh, we'll uh, we'll see what it looks like with the lights off. Check that out. It's got a great look to it. You know, by this time they had designed tons of them, so they knew what to do. It's got the cool pinks and reds and purples and blues. Just a very nice looking jukebox. So let's see what's in it, shall we? Got the Eagles, got a little Rick James, Billy Ocean. <laughs> My brother typed these out. He put Bruce Springsteen. That's that's not Bruce Springsteen. He wrote that. That's the Manfred Man. Uh, Don Henley. Oh, I did get the Don Henley one in there. That's right. I think I had a couple of them, and one of them didn't skip. Cool in the gang, cool in the gang. Lionel Richie. Got to have that, right? The heat is on, Glenn Frey. <laughs> <laughs> but, so this is an 84 box so I kind of tried to you know do stuff from then or a little earlier maybe uh, brother Louie that's a good one tell me something good parliament I had to put the village people in there kiss foreigner Madonna John Cougar Mellencamp put a little <laughs> Pac-Man fever in there uh, Stevie Nicks, Eric Clapton, U2, Steve Miller Band, The Band, Bon Jovi, Huey Lewis and, and the News, John Travolta, SWV, that one's a little too new, but you know. Electric Light Orchestra, Blue Suede, that one really is a Bruce Springsteen record. Billy Joel, Electric Light Orchestra again. Michael Bolton, oh, good God. I shouldn't say that. If he's watching this, I'm sorry, Mr. Bolton. I mean, you've made a lot of money selling records. You know, you must know more about what sounds good than I do. Uh, Metallica, Bobby Brown, Elvis Presley, Mr. Mister, <laughs> Jerry Lee Lewis, Eddie Rabbit, Dan Seals, Chicago, Luther Vandross, Skip Ewing. Cutting Crew, Ugly Kid Joe, Belly, Ray Charles, Billy Ray Cyrus is another one, uh, Reba McIntyre, Seely Wright, The Bengals with Joan Jett, Vern Gosden, Conway Twitty, The Statler Brothers, Trisha Yearwood, Vern Gosden, Ricky Skaggs, Patty Loveless, The O'Kanes, David Allen Co., Lee Greenwood, Alabama, Mary Chapin Carpenter, Garth Brooks, Alan Jackson, Pam Tillis, George Strait, Sammy Kershaw, Little Texas, Doug Stone, Mo Bandy, Ricky Van Shelton, Vince Gill, Linda Ronstadt, Leroy Parnell, Randy Travis, Toby Keith, Joe Diffie, Chris Ledoux, Billy Ray Cyrus, Burl Haggard, Clint Black, Pam Tillis, Doug Stone, 
more Doug Stone, Alabama, Bobby Kreiner, Doug Superdoll, Shania Twain, Convoy, <laughs> Trisha Yearwood, Larry Stewart, Patty Loveless again, Alan Jackson again, The Osmonds, <laughs> Dwight Yoakam, Garth Brooks, that Dwight Yoakam song. You know, I listen to all of them. It's about killing women. Garth Brooks, Brooks and Dunn, and then I put two, uh, two Christmas ones in there just for the heck of it. Because we got some Christmas records we got to get rid of. So there you go. Now here's what I'm going to do, folks. If I play one of these records in this video, you know what's going to happen? If that artist or whoever owns that artist's music doesn't like it, they're going to delete my video that I spent so much time filming. So here's what I'm going to do. It's a jukebox. We've got to hear it play. So I'm going to do a another separate video that I upload at the same exact time that I upload this video. And then if they delete it, they'll just delete that video and they won't delete this video where I show the, the box and everything that's in it and how the inside looks and all that. So on my channel, there should be another video, unless they've deleted it at some point, of me playing this thing. So uh, we'll play through something. So uh, after this video ends here in just a second, click on the, my video tab and it should be the next video after this one but uh, leave your comments below what you think about this box give us a thumbs up for filming it for you and uh, we'll see you on that video here in just a second I'm gonna hit record turn it off and then hit record and turn it right back on